Nice. Hey, Jim, how are you, mate? Good thanks. How you doing? Yeah, really good. Beautiful. I mean, look at this this morning, Jim. Just beautiful. Beautiful. We're at the business. I know. Business section. Yeah. Here, <laughs> wow. What sort of wine do you like to drink with your fish? I like my red wine. Yeah? Red wine. Shiraz, dry wine. Yeah. I don't like too much sweetness and things like this. I love that. Yeah, yeah. me too. Yeah. It's up to you. What do you like? 100%. Exactly. What do you like? Yeah. That's what you drink. But do you know what I like? The look at that flounder. Look at that. That beautiful. is a beauty. Look at this. Huh? Look at, this. Look huh? at it. Beautiful, Stunning. Mark. So nice. fresh. The colors Yellow of the skin. Yellow belly flounder. Comes oh. from New Zealand. Beautiful. New Zealand. Excellent. Amazing. No worries. I can't go past that, mate. I want that. Please. 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 <laughs> Not messing around. <laughs> There's something with chefs and flatfish, right? Oh, mate. Am I, am it's I'm... the king. Flounders, the turbots, the brills, sure. they're just beautiful. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking something simple like, yep. you know, cut it on the bone, cook it on the bone, oh, butter sauce, oh. maybe even like a beurre blanc. Oh. Really simple. That's for you. Thank you, yeah, mate. Enjoy it. Let's give it a go. Perfect. Jim, thank you very thank much, you. mate. Thank you. Legend. All good. So you may hear some background noise today. If the builders are good, I'll look after them a little bit later for a little taste. So I'm gonna do a really simple dish. As always, yep. pan fried, I'm gonna make like a butter sauce. Great fish, lemon butter, thyme. I've got two superb wines. Awesome. And like, these matches are no-brainers. Yeah. I've got Chardonnay from Margaret River. Nice. It's one of the yes. king regions for that variety yeah. in this country. All over and the world. Like, in the in UK, one of my favourite Chardis, or Margaret River. Like exactly. It's, well, it's such a well-known region, even in the UK. And world-class. And I've got a white wine from the Yarra Valley that is made with Chardonnay but it's also got a little bit of Viognier and Marsan in it. So I've Ooh, kind of gone of like, kind of gone like kind of white blend. Yeah. But still has the same body as what Chardonnay does. Yeah. Still fermented in an oak barrel and still has that same creamy, luscious texture. We talked about varieties in this Yarra Valley blend of Viognier and Marsan. Yeah. People may not be as well versed on that. Yep. Um, so yeah, these... they're not they're not your big they're not your big blends, they're not your big varieties. No, exactly. They are a little bit more obscure. Yeah. They're both French varieties. Um, both hail from the Rhone Valley in France and they're generally blended together in France as well. So we in Australia take inspiration from what has gone on over there. Yeah. Um, but blended together they produce wines that have that lusciousness that Chardonnay drinkers will love. Introducing people to these new things is exactly what wine selectors is all about and what we thrive on right we education want, yeah education. discovery trying something different and doing so knowing that you've had a panel of experts select the wine for you yeah so someone's tried it tested it tasted it signed off and said this is a superb wine experience you're only going to benefit from that, right? And that's one of the fantastic things about what you guys do, you know? You are taking so much of the work out of it for people. Yeah, you know, exactly. For those people at home who want an incredible wine selection and want to try something new every time, mm. your subscriptions are fantastic for them, yeah. you know? And yeah. also for those wine buffs who just want to keep learning and keep growing, like your, your notes that come through on them, your education side of it is, is awesome. And all, like any subscription, all of the all the controls in your hands. Yeah. So let me get a glass for that for you. So I've got... Oh, you haven't poured it yet, sorry. I haven't. Oh, you got to use it to cook with straight away. You <laughs> You've signed off on its quality already. <laughs> I wasn't joking, one wine's going in the sauce too. <laughs> So all I've done, I've got my fish sautéing off in the back, really low heat, keep napping it just for the butter to penetrate. And yeah. here I'm making almost a beurre blanc. That's some shallot, some thyme, some white wine, reduce that down, add in yeah. your butter, emulsify it, finish it with some lemon juice, simple, done. Really, really easy. So you mentioned beurre blanc, for those of us that are not well versed on the French language, it's, it's obviously something butter. with butter. It's a butter sauce, so right. it's a classic butter sauce, which okay. is made with white wine and lemon juice. Okay. Yeah, so it's probably one of the most 
classical sauces you can have. Okay. Super delicious. Yeah, well, the amount of <laughs> butter you put in there. <laughs> Look, I signed off on it straight away. More butter, the better, right? <laughs> We've left our fish just to rest a couple of minutes. So simple. That's quite important, right? Like, oh, so important. Like cooking Same as any cooking other steak meat. or any red meat. Sure. You leave it to rest just for those juices to settle back in. It's going to sauce the plate. It's funny you mention that because I think these wines, we poured them off the ice and now yeah. they've got a little bit warmer, rested if you may. Absolutely. Do you know what I mean? These are showing more aroma, more flavour. Yeah. Interesting, to especially these wines are a bit more on that medium to fuller bodied side. Just make sure that you don't serve them too cold, I think. Yeah, they need to open up as well. They not? do, yeah. Because yeah. I think in Australia we drink whites too cold, reds yeah. too hot yeah. sometimes. So, What's the ideal temperature for a white for you? To me, for a white like this, yeah. which is, you know, you're kind of towards your fuller end of the spectrum, to me, 8 to 10 degrees. Go on, mate. Or you don't Get mind stuck if in. I go no, first. No, guess are, first. You are a gentleman. <laughs> wow, look at that. I get some of that sauce too, hey? That's it. Just so oh. flaky. It, I can see why you guys adore this for its texture. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's got great delicate flavour and long flavour. That sauce just gives a little pop, but it's That's that it. texture. It's the texture. It's so soft, it's so indulgent, you yeah. know. It's it's buttery, it's rich, it just melts on your palate. It's no work, it's no, no. work. It's like the fillet steak equivalent of fish. Definitely. You know, it's very little work on the palate, but more flavour than fillet. And knowing these wines, but not having tried this before, yeah. I, we're on here. Let's give it a try. Irrespective of which one you go for, whether you look Chardonnay or go with a slightly funkier blend. Yeah. Oh, I think we're, yeah. Let's just take both, hey? <laughs> Why not, one guys? Each. Why not? Cheers. Happy days. Thank you very Cheers. much. Cheers. <laughs>